So here we have a feed hopper with a carbon black mixed with some metal and we have a feed adapter which can be with a clamp connection to a bin or a hopper. We have filters and this is a two-inch line ball valves for aspiration of the product. We have a fluidized feed in case it's needed. Two-inch flex hose, embedded grounding wire, and the distance is around 30 feet. We go up 15 feet to the product receiver, which contain all the filter unit and the bottom well. And in the lab here we have the vacuum pump remote mounted. Yeah. And we are going to run the product or convey the product from the feed hopper up into the product receiver and discharge it back into a bag. This is the vacuum conveyor. In here we have the filter shock unit. So when the pump is conveying product, we charge a tank with compressed air. And when the pump stops, it releases the air and backflush the filter. And the filter we have in is a 0.5 micron filter pleated because of the fines the carbon has. So the filter inlet 3 inch reduced to 2 inch grounded volume module and the bottom valve full open so it's open up for 10 inches via an air operator actuator and the vacuum pump driven by compressed air get the signal to start it exhausts out in the back here the, this unit it's actually mounted on the conveyor itself. This is a lab unit. And everything is air operated. Open, closing, the actuator. This is the size of the opening of the, the conveyor. 10 inches. air operated through a air operated actuator. Lab control this one we have set the suction time to seven seconds and the discharge time of three seconds. So overall the cycle time of ten seconds. So now I'm going to start the unit to get a feeling of how it works.
are going to check the weight or the, how much we convey. But right now, you can tell the new need for the fluidizer to work. We run it without the fluidizer. It runs beautiful. And the bottom piece here, it's the feed adapter, which will be attached to a rotary airlock provided by others. So this is uh, over like three cycles, 10 second cycle time, and it's uh, about 70 pounds. 